Hey guys, so today I am going to explain how to assemble the global stiffness matrices in 2D problem. So let us start with uh, firstly reviewing the 2D cases. What are the 2D cases and uh, how to approach them? So in 2D cases, basically you have the, for example, one of the example could be you have a rectangular plate. Okay, and this plate is messed can be messed in different ways so one of the way could be using the rectangular element let's say you have this kind of configuration okay and then second could be this same plate can be messed using the triangular element let's use different color so i'll say this triangle element so you see these are the triangle elements and if we compare them so node number element number will be let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen and this case you can start with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so these are different uh, ways to disc discretize this plate element this is our say Uh, plate element let's say this plate has LX and this is LY okay now question comes how how do we assemble this kind of configuration uh, because if we recall in 1d cases they are very pretty simple in comparison with this so there is a specific approach to go for this uh, class of problem so let's go <clears throat> and see what we said so i introduce a particular call this a element connectivity matrix here so element connectivity in matrix is a kind of table which has basically number of say first column will be element number and this will be global node number so it means let's uh, case of this particular problem this triangular one to see the connectivity matrix of this triangular element uh, let's make it little simplify because it's too complicated and so many elements so i'll redraw this particular diagram so let's say i have this plate element and i say discretize into say two three now I'll do the note numbering element numbering first second third fourth fifth sixth seven eighth and then I'll specify the uh, particular say notes so this is note one note two note three note four note five note six 
node 7 node 8 and node 9 okay so in this global connectivity matrices how many rows we will have because i say uh, element number is in column and these are the global row number so the rows of this column will be number of elements how many element we have in this particular uh, class of problem or our case so we have element 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay so element number would be starting from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now the global load number for every element to see these are the global load numbers okay so now we will map map means take this node number element number one element number one is this one okay so in this uh, element number one we will uh, map or find out the stiffness matrices node numbers and then map into this element displacement matrices so here in the global node numbers we will have one two five okay so i'll say one two five these are the global node node numbers in this okay and then let's go to element number two this is our element number two element number two we have one five four because we are going anti-clockwise so one five four so we'll say one five four go to element number three we have two three six so two three six element number four we have two six five so two six five element number five we have four five eight so we have four five eight element number six we have four eight seven four eight seven element number seven we have five six nine let's say five six nine element number eight which is the last one has five nine eight so five nine eight so this is the element connectivity matrices so the rows we have element number so this is element one two three four five six seven eight these are the elements and these are the numbers so let's uh, convert it into a table so okay now how we will use this element connectivity matrix to assemble the global stiffness matrices in our case so let's do this so in that case in the first idea would be the compute the local stiffness matrices local stiffness matrices means you compute let's say every element k1 local then you compute k2 local um, k2 local and then compute k3 local and then so and so forth k8 local k8 local once you have this k1 k2 k3 k4 k5 k6 k7 k8 9 8 and 9 8 then we will assemble them into a kind of say k global let's say let's take this into this format so this is global and the size of this global stiffness matrices would be number of node into number of dof means degree of freedom per node so what is how many numbers of node we have 
so we have identified the number of nodes which are in the blue colors so the, we have nine so we say nine and number of degree of freedom per node here for the simplicity we are assuming that we have only single degree of freedom per node only for the assembly purpose else in numerical cases we will take complicated um, case so number of degree of freedom will be one so basically we have nine nine means the size of this k global would be nine cross nine because this is always uh, how to say square matrices k will be nine by nine okay so let's uh, finish this part by taking a global matrices so i will create a global matrix so let's say k global will be let's say okay so i'll number this one two three four five six seven eight nine the so same way column one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay now i will bring the connectivity matrix here so this is our connectivity matrix so let's take this connectivity matrix from here so i will take this connectivity matrix from this part from here to bottom so i'll take copy this and once i paste this then it goes let's say try one more time uh, just compress it so that we are able to see this only So, hmm. okay. So here we have our element connectivity matrix, which is here, and we also have our global stress matrices. 